Uh, this is our second time in Key West, so we're just gonna try to take it easy and relax because we only have two days of cruising left. That's according to my wife. I still am telling her that it's Friday, but she insists it's Thursday. Nobody knows what day it is on the boat. Now, here's an awesome statue that we saw the last time we were here. I still love it. How cool is that? But here, this is an exclusive interview. I've got an interview with one of the locals. How are you doing, ma'am? You don't have to be uptight, it's it's just a camera. You been grocery shopping? Okay, they're a little shy here, but I'm gonna give her a kiss for good luck and then I'll show you some of Key West. Well, in 1986, the Navy decided to sell all of this property you're looking at all 110 acres of land. The Navy had everything closed down tight for 12 years. From 74 to 86, they closed everything you see down. They closed the waterfront, they closed the administration, the little white house, they closed everything down. They took about 40% of all the military personnel out of Key West. And about 40% of all the civil service employees lost their jobs or went somewhere else. He was almost, almost went bankrupt, let me tell you. Well, finally, uh, they put it up to the highest bidder, and the highest bidder was a young fella, 32 years old, from the state of Maine. He goes by the name of Pritam Singh. That's his adopted legal name today, Pritam Singh. And uh, he bid at $17 million. He got 110 acres of land, 67 buildings, all of the waterfront, including the Little White House. Whoa. So he got himself one hell of a deal. Yeah. Wow. He turned around, he gave the Little White House to the state of Florida. The state of Florida, no, the federal government, neither one of the two gives us one nickel to run this place. Huh. Yet both of them tell us what to do. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm here at Bio's Fish Wagon. I had found this place online, but we just did the Truman tour at the Little White House. And first of all, that is the best tour I have ever been on of any museum. The guy that works there, Jimmy, grew up here on Key West. And I even said to the lady behind the counter, I said, I don't know if all his stories were true, but I want to believe them. And she said, nobody knows if all of his stories are true, but we all think Jimmy believes them and that's what's important. So I asked him if B.O.'s was a good place to eat and he goes, oh yeah, that guy played on my little league team. We were state champions. You gotta go in there, tell him Jimmy Mars sent you. Yeah, yeah, they call him B.O because his name is Bobby, but we called him B.O. because you know what I'm saying. Jimmy was great. I hope B.O.'s is great. We're going to have a grouper sandwich. See ya. Hey, Melody, you having fun? You feed them again, I will murder you. In your sleep. Tell me what you might do. You said. Stop. What did you say you might do? Stop. My wife is creeped out by the roosters, and I might have thrown some bread near her feet, and she jumped up from the table and said, Look, I'm about to kick a cock, and it might not be one of these birds. So, when I was done laughing, I turned the camera on. I'm sorry you missed it, but she was freaked out. Oh, here comes another angry rooster. He's mad because we fed a rival rooster, and we're sitting in his zone. I think it's hilarious. She's not so happy. You gotta come to Key West. It's awesome. Oh, and the grouper sandwich at Bio's Fish Shack. Magnifique. It's 16 bucks, but it's magnifique. So this is a little souvenir shop in Key West and 
as you can see this is pretty awesome this is what we thought the straw market was going to be more like in the bahamas but it turned out it was just a bunch of chinese baskets with ladies screaming at you to buy it but it's just like a wings and myrtle beach or all the beach shops but it's cooler because it's outdoors got a little breeze and some ambiance i like it My son's head. <laughs> oh, that key lime is awesome. Is this key lime pie? We'll make key lime pie. We'll make key lime ice cream. Take a slice. We almost left Key West without getting a piece of key lime pie. So I'm gonna shove this in my face before we get on the boat. Ah! You son of a. Okay, I'm gonna murder her after I... I'm gonna get you for that. Bye-bye. <laughs>